Hi, I'm Carrie Leland, nutritionist with Imbalanced Nutrition and the Foxhall Foundation. Last week, I started a series talking about our three energy or calorie providing nutrients, starting with carbohydrates. So today we're gonna to move on to our next nutrient and talk a little bit about protein. So when you think about protein, you're probably thinking about muscle, building muscle, building strength. And while that is true, uh, protein has a lot of other really important roles in our body. Um, things like providing structure to our cells or uh, things like supporting uh, the building of hormones and antibodies to support immune health um, or regulating our fluid balance, just to name a few. Protein is actually pretty widespread in our diet. So when you're thinking about sources of protein, probably the first ones that come to mind are things like meat and poultry, fish. Um, those are all great sources of protein. We can also get protein in our dairy products and eggs, um, and also a variety of plant-based sources like beans and nuts and seeds, um, and also whole grains and vegetables. So uh, because there are so many sources of protein in our diet, um, generally most of us are pretty easily able to meet our protein needs as long as we have a, a pretty balanced diet, as long as we're taking in enough calories and a good variety of food. So if you're curious about your uh, protein requirements, your daily protein requirements, um, there's a simple calculation you can do to find out uh, what amount of protein is required for you each day. Now, this is a, an equation that we use for the general population. So certainly people who have conditions like chronic kidney disease would need less. Um, individuals who are very physically active uh, would need more. Um, but the equation is uh, 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And how we figure that out is we take our weight in pounds and we divide it by 2.2 to get our weight in kilograms. And then we multiply that number by 0.8 and that will give us the amount of uh, protein that we need to meet our protein requirements each day. Now, there has been some uh, recent research to support that higher protein needs, uh, or protein uh, intakes are uh, actually beneficial for older adults. So for individuals who are over the age of 65, um, a protein requirement of one to 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram per day uh, can support optimal health. So again, taking that weight in pounds dividing it by 2.2, and then multiplying that number by one um, and 1.2 to give yourself the range of protein to meet your protein requirements. So uh, just to give you an example of how easy it can be to meet our protein needs, um, we'll take somebody who is a, a weight of about 140 pounds. So someone who weighs 140 pounds, um, who needs uh, just a general amount of protein, so that 0.8 grams per kilogram, would need about 51 grams of protein per day. So if you were to take a nice four ounce piece of salmon, uh, which is a little bit bigger than the palm of my hand, uh, that would provide about 24 grams of protein. So we're talking about half of uh, someone who is 140 pounds, half of their protein requirements would be met with just one serving of salmon over the course of the day. So remember, they're also gonna be getting protein from dairy and whole grains and eggs, et cetera. So um, meeting protein needs is generally um, not a problem for, for most healthy individuals. Now, just like with carbohydrates, we want to be thinking about where the protein is coming from and what other nutrients are a part of that protein containing food. So just looking at um, four different types of protein, all of which that contain a 20 grams of protein, each of these servings. So if we were gonna look at uh, four ounces of ground beef. So four ounces of ground beef provides about 20 grams of protein, but it's also gonna provide saturated fat and it's gonna provide cholesterol. Um, if we were gonna take the same amount of protein and look at 
turkey deli meat as the source of that protein. So about three ounces of turkey deli meat is gonna provide 20 grams of protein, but oftentimes it's also gonna provide a significant amount of sodium. Uh, we can take a look at that salmon that I uh, had mentioned earlier, four ounces of salmon, again, gonna provide around that 20 grams of protein, but it's also gonna provide healthy omega-3 fatty acids, which are anti-inflammatory and support um, good uh, brain health, uh, as well as other uh, important benefits. And then um, also taking a look at uh, plant-based protein like beans. A cup of beans is gonna provide close to 20 grams of protein as well, but it's also gonna provide a significant amount of fiber. Um, and it's also providing virtually no saturated fat and cholesterol. So as you can see, each of these different protein sources is gonna help us to meet our protein needs, but each one has uh, different um, pluses or minuses uh, depending on the other nutrients that are present in that protein source. So the best thing to consider when we're talking about selecting proteins is incorporating a good variety of proteins in our diet leading more heavily towards those proteins that are gonna provide us with a higher uh, volume of those beneficial nutrients. So um, incorporating more of those plant-based proteins that are gonna provide us with uh, vitamins, minerals, fiber, but a low amount of uh, fat, saturated fat and, and cholesterol. Um, and the uh, fish that is gonna provide us with protein, but also those good healthy fats. And then uh, limiting the amount of protein that comes from things like red meat um, that's going to be uh, providing us with a higher amount of saturated fat and cholesterol. Now, just like I said, when we were talking about carbohydrates, all foods have a place in a healthy, balanced diet, and each one of those proteins is gonna help you meet your protein needs. But choosing those that provide a higher volume of nutrients um, is going to help to provide you additional health benefits in addition to that protein. So um, go out and uh, choose some good uh, nutrient-dense proteins today, and um, join me next week where we talk about our final um, energy-providing nutrient, fats. All right, thanks for listening. Take care.